In this lesson, I'll show you how to name ionic compounds containing a metal with more than one type of cation. Let's start with question one. Name the compound PbCl4. Pb is the symbol for lead, and Cl is a symbol for chlorine. This is our cation because it's the metal. This is our anion because it's the nonmetal. Now if you take a look at the periodic table, Pb is right here. And if you're curious, the reason why they use Pb is because that's Latin for lead. Pb stands for plumbum. Anyway, we have to decide whether it's a charge of 2 or whether it's a charge of 4. And here's how we find out. First, we have to look at the formula. The formula is PbCl4. Given that Cl has a charge of 1 negative, when putting together this formula, that charge should be right here. And the charge of Pb has to be 4, because if it were 2, this would be 2. So the way we name this compound is we say lead, 4, and we use Roman numerals, chloride. Remember, it's always the anion that has its name altered. Let's move on to question 2. Name the compound FES. FE represents iron. S represents sulfur. Iron has a charge of either 3 or 2. Sulfur has a charge of 2. So which one is it? 3 or 2? Let's find out. Remember, when putting this together, we had FE, and it was either 3 plus or 2 plus, and S2 minus. Since sulfur has one charge, we know that this charge would go down here, Fe2. And if it were 3, then your formula would be Fe2S3. But since we have FeS without any numbers, this had to have been 2. Because by reducing this, we end up with FeS. Therefore, the name of this compound is iron. 2, in Roman numerals, sulfide. You keep the base of the name the same, and you change its ending with an I-D-E. Keep in mind that some teachers will want the Latin version of the name instead, where instead of iron, you would use ferris for the 2 plus charge and ferric for the 3 plus charge. So another name for this would be ferris sulfide. In question three, they want us to write the formula for ruthenium four oxide. Oxygen has a charge of two minus, and you can confirm that with the periodic table. Ruthenium is found right here, and it has a charge of either three or four. But we're told that it's four, so we have R U four plus these two crisscross, and we reduce, divide this by 2, divide this by 2, we end up with RU1O2. And there you have it, three examples on how to name ionic compounds containing a metal with more than one type of cation.